Welcome to the newest episode of this week. Today we're talking about the NFC South Powerhouse. That's right. Thanks. I'm over with it myself. <laughs> you did. Yes, I did. Well done, sir. Credit. Sorry, uh, we haven't been posting in a while. We have been on Christmas break in different areas. That and loving it. At different back times. to the real world now. Kind yeah. of sucks. Mm. <laughs> but Happy New Year's to everyone. We are back and we will uh, be posting just like normal. And don't forget, this episode is brought to you by Body Armor. Let's get into it. Okay, so, so let's talk about <laughs> <here's better>. Saints <laughs> and the Vikings playoffs. Yeah, the Saints, uh, they just shut me and Corey up. Me and Corey said that they were going to have a bad just, year. I had a little bit. I had them worst in the division. I he had them second third. worst in the division. Yeah. And they have a historic backfield with 15,000 yards from both Ingram and Kamara. And, and I, I love Kamara. Kamara's been a great, fantastic. Great. It's just fun to watch. Oh, he is. And then, you know, in my opinion, uh, I don't know, uh, Drew Brees, top three all-time quarterback. Yep. I really think that's a fair thing to say. And, you know, just the reason why their team was so good, the the draft. Yeah, their draft really helped them out a lot. They had so many steals. They watched our videos and said, screw you two. We're going to get a good team. As we talked about, it's really been built up over the last two years with all their trades with different teams. They picked up a lot, and I think that's the reason they're in this position is because their defense has really stepped up. Exactly. Trades. Last couple years, built the line, built the defense. Yeah. Jeez Louise, they're good. And we uh, we did say that defense was probably one of the worst in the NFL. Exactly. Well, good. congratulations, guys. <laughs> nice one. You weren't part of the video. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably why you didn't do so hard. Oh, uh, yeah. Your opinion matters to us so much. <laughs> All right, and then the next game is the Falcons and the Eagles. People turn the show on for us, not you. <laughs> oh, okay. So, Falcons and, and Eagles, I think it's going to be a pretty good game. Um, but sticking with the Falcons, I am honestly surprised they beat the Rams. I thought the Rams would be able to take that talent they had to just <coughs> outwork the Falcons. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I don't think so. I'm not really surprised. I like the talent. I agree with you on that one. Yeah. But from top to bottom, you know, head coach to quarterback to running back to defense, there's really no playoff experience. In the future, that young team is going to be great. But I just think right now, I get the experienced Falcons beat the inexperienced Rams. I get that, but I really did think, you know, talent-wise, I mean, just Gurley alone went off this year, and I thought that was going to be enough for yeah. the Rams winning. Obviously, they didn't. But I think this is going to be a tough game for the Falcons still. I think the Eagles are still a good team. I understand that Nick Foles is going to be tough. Yeah. Without wins on the field. Statistically, but. the Falcons are better than last year, which is mm-hmm. crazy to think because they've been kind of boring. Yeah. But that's the thing you said right there, Nick Foles. I think Nick Foles is the downfall of the Eagles. I think as long as Nick Foles doesn't turn over the ball, though, where well, they're going to be fine because that defense is a lot – like this Eagle defense is so much better than the Falcons defense. They should be able to win that game. Again, if Foles doesn't turn over that ball. I mean, it just – That's asking it, a lot. It's coming all down to him. Yeah, that's asking a whole lot. What is that face? <laughs> I was just thinking about it. Like, you guys gonna go now? Talk you done playing your balls? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll move on <laughs> and talk about the worst team in the playoffs, the Panthers. Uh, they fired Shula and Dorsey. I think it was a pretty smart decision. What do you guys? Think? I think it was. I think it was fantastic. Great, great by Ron Rivera. Like, Ron Rivera made the call, and he's about to go get. His former head coach, mm-hmm. he, uh, Rivera was the defensive coordinator for the Chargers when Norv Turner was the head coach of the Chargers. Yeah. And Norv Turner's about to be the offensive coordinator, and that's genius. I think he might be able the to pull in circle. Cam Newton. Yeah. Full circle around. He might be able to be the one person to reel in Cam Newton. See, the thing is, I don't know. Cam Newton, we talked about a little bit, might be a little unfixable at this point, but I mean, I mean he has seven, yeah. seven, seven, seven drops. I mean, he's he overthrows focused, tall receivers. He focus on one receiver the whole time. I'm pretty sure Greg Olson just lays into him all the time. Greg Olson got mad those oh, last yeah. two games. And not to mention, you know, he, he'll sit in the huddle for another three to five seconds just sitting on his knees before he gets up and gets in the actual play, not reading the defense or changing up the play at all. There's a lot in the face there. Well, that's the thing. I think Cam Newton's mechanics are piss poor. Mm-hmm. His accuracy is terrible. Yeah. And his vision isn't good. He could hit McCaffrey for a touchdown in that game, yeah. which would have prevented Gano from missing that field goal. Yeah. So, North Turner bringing brought in early might be a very good thing for Cam Newton yeah. to work on some certain things. Yeah. And, you know, North Turner likes to go deep. The Panthers need to do a little bit more than North Turner. I think they need to go after Allen Robinson, Sammy Watkins, Paul Richardson, Eric Decker as a backup. 
But I those really guys think, will definitely I, set them off with healthy Curtis Samuel. Yeah, and I, I really think Sammy would be the best fit. He's Carolina boy. Yeah, know, bring him back to bring Carolina. Bring him back to Carolina. And I think he has enough speed to be that person for Cam Newton. You know, going back to when Ginn was on the team, he absolutely loved going to Ginn because he's so fast. Yeah, his hands are 50-50. Yeah. I think Sammy Watkins' hands are going to be obviously a lot better, but he still has that speed. I think Sammy Watkins would be a great fit. They have potential. They yeah. really do have potential. Don't touch me after you touched your balls. <laughs> <laughs> They're soft. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching the latest episode of this sweep. Be on the lookout for our future episodes. We should be able to post like once a week or so. That's the plan. That's mm-hmm. the plan. That's yeah. You know, we're back. Everything goes according to plan. Yeah. We're back. And be on the lookout for body armor. You can find it at QT, Food Lion, uh, Circle K, and Target. They are everywhere. You're a cutie. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Be on, the lookout. be on the lookout for some new flavors that should be coming out here soon. Um, you know, should be some awesome stuff, especially with the UFC. Knock out punch. I'm looking forward to that one coming out. You know, they're full of potassium, really, you know, natural flavors. Again, I love strawberry and banana, but I'm really looking forward to some of these new flavors. I'm starting to like this mixed berry one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>